now uh, we have seen one question first uh, with the preparation of sulfur dioxide now let's come back and do one more question this is basically the property the chemical property of sulfur dioxide okay now uh, oh, you should always remember one important concept sulfur dioxide when i have to speak it exists whenever you see sulfur dioxide remember one concept that is it exists as an reducing agent as well as oxidizing agent okay so we, we will first learn how does it act as a reducing agent remember so sulfur dioxide basically now when i see its oxidation state now oxygen is minus 2 correct when this is minus 2 minus 2 into 2 is uh, minus like minus 2 into 2 minus 4 isn't it the oxidation state of sulfur is plus 4 so whenever sulfur is it plus 4 state remember it's going to exist as the reducing agent okay so now here this is acting as reducing agent so what is the role of reducing agent reducing agent is going to lose electrons to the next uh, element and itself gets oxidized okay let's use that concept here now they've given me what happens when sulfur dioxide is passed through fe plus 3 if this question is given to me now i very well know this is in plus 4 oxidation state so this has to act as reducing agent now what is this process first as soon as you get this question suppose you forgot the reaction at least write one sentence you'll get mark in that what is this this particular reaction is a it is a reduction of it is a reduction of fe plus 3 to fe plus 2 at least this to get that half mark but we have to learn the reaction first so whenever i take this i am going to first write the complete reaction then write the ionic reaction suppose they said fe plus 3 so what is fe fe plus 3 that nothing but ferric chloride plus 3 is ferric plus 2 is ferrous done so plus 3 i am going to take ferric chloride fecl3 now to this i am going to add sulfur dioxide which is <coughs> acting as a reducing agent along with that aqueous basically it is aqueous form ionic means aqueous only no, i mean ionic will ions will form in aqueous solution so i'm going to add water then what do i get i'm going to get just observe carefully you're going to get three important products here earlier i also we have shown you i have shown you sulfur dioxide <coughs> with sulfuric acid please watch that video it get converted into sulfate ion also i said okay what's that you'll understand so you're going to get three important products here the first here what is the oxidation state of this this is minus three so this will be plus three oxidation state done now you're going to convert okay let me write that clearly this is ferric chloride minus 3 here this is minus 3 so this will be plus 3 so this gets converted into next state that is ferric ferrous that is uh, ferric chloride now it has to get converted into <coughs> ferrous chloride so ferrous chloride that is formula is FeCl2 how this is minus 2 this is plus 2 so now what happened from plus 3 it has got converted to plus 2 see here reduction of we have written here isn't it reduction of plus 3 to plus 2 then apart from this you are going to get three products i said one would be hcl one would be h2so4 okay i have not yet, uh, completed this now <coughs> here SO2 is acting as a reducing agent that means I have to calculate its oxidation state now observe carefully I said here it is no, oxygen is 2 so minus 2 into 2 minus 4 so the oxidation state of sulfur is plus 4 here let's come back and see here sulfate here when I have to take the sulfate valency if I have to calculate that is plus 6 I'll show you how it is plus 6 also now, now as of now keep it like this and see now I have to write the ionic reaction because they've given me that. Let me write ionic reaction from this. Now this is Fe plus three, so Fe plus three from here. Now next one, <coughs> sulfur dioxide. Okay, sulfur dioxide plus water. Okay, done. Here the oxidation state is plus four. I'm writing the ionic state, ionic uh, reaction. Next, this is dissociating into Fe plus two. Done. This one is your h plus done now this one is your so4 minus 2 done now let me calculate the uh, oxidation state this is x isn't it <clears throat> this becomes 4 into minus 2 is equal to minus 2 x is equal to 
plus 6. So, the oxidation state of sulfur is plus 6. Now, observe carefully. Here in this particular reaction, now from Fe plus 3, it got reduced. Now, what actually happened? Sulfur has given, being a reducing agent, sulfur has given electrons to this. When this has lost electron, it loses electrons. How many electrons did it lose? <coughs> How can I see? When I compare plus 4 and plus 6, there are two electrons lost. And that means those two electrons are lost to this. That means I have to take two. Correct? Then only, isn't it? For one Fe, I am going to give one electron. For two Fe, I am going to give two electrons. So, here this also will be two done now observe 3 2 is a 6 that is also 2 to the 4 okay done so the difference is uh, 3 to the 6 2 electrons 2 to the 4 2 so 2 electrons have transacted from here sulfur has given 2 electrons so what actually happened after giving these 2 electrons this sulfate ion you see here it has lost 2 electrons that is already shown here in iron done now let us balance hydrogen now hydrogen how many here <coughs> okay so suppose if i write two hydrogens here right two to the four so h is four h plus so this is done isn't it hope you've understood so the conclusion of the story i've made a big reaction you have to remember whenever such reaction is given to you simple right like this fe plus three getting reduced to fe plus two say first one second so2 is getting oxidized to so4 minus 2 here the oxidation state is plus 4 here the oxidation state is plus 6 simple so this is your concept hope you have understood the concept <clears throat> let's come back and see the same concept which we did with iron what did we learn we have seen fe3 gets reduced to fe2 isn't it that now <clears throat> and one more thing also we studied sulfur dioxide from plus 4 it has got <coughs> oxidized to so4 minus 2 where this the oxidation state is plus 6 done now oxidized i have to write that also now let's come back and see this question suppose if this question is given to you complete the following simple nothing don't get confused only thing is remember so so4 2 gets converted to so4 minus right like this now <coughs> mno4 minus <coughs> sorry it gets converted into mn plus 2 okay done yeah okay let us write here only not to confuse you all mn plus 2 then h2o it gets converted into h plus i am writing the ionic reaction now how can we say this is getting oxidized is reduced just see here when i have when i calculate we have already done this when you calculate oxidation number here the oxidation number of manganese is plus 7 here the oxidation number of manganese is plus 2 okay let us write that first what happened mno4 minus this is plus 7 got con converted into mn plus 2 now what happened from plus 7 to plus 2 what it has gained electrons when it has gained electron don't get confused it has gained isn't it most of the students get confused ma'am plus 2 say plus uh, plus 7 to plus 2 is less no ma'am no it has gained electrons so this is reduction it has got reduced done now the second important thing from sulfur dioxide i already calculated the oxidation status plus four here when i already calculated in the earlier one the oxidation status plus six now what happened from so2 the oxidation state is plus four and this got converted into so4 minus two the oxidation state of sulfur is plus six now what happened from plus four to plus six it has lost electrons loss of electrons is nothing but oxidation so that is why it is redox reactions both now let's balance suppose if i take take this is five um this is two okay this also will be two okay because this is two this will become four um, then again this is five because this is sulfur five this is two okay this is your balanced ionic reaction so remember one thing <coughs> one should get reduced sulfur gets oxidized always so sulfur dioxide to sulfate mno4 to mn plus 2 and uh, water to h plus